so here we you go so in this way you can easily launch your static website on s3 so there are so many things still we would be able to know so project out of three so basically in this particular series means this video actually AWS essential we are going to see three projects there are a lot of more is coming on the way okay so what we are going to do here what we are going to see here again we will try to host a static website in AWS S3 the same thing we did for EC2 instance the same thing you can do for s3 as well you know okay so what are the steps we will do we will create a s3 bucket okay we have to do some setups for this while creating okay we have you have to allow public access okay in order to access the application right we have hosted in the bucket and apart from that we will upload try to upload the files to the s3 bucket and we will try to see how we can you know frame it so that the application could be accessible to the end user you can access to your mobile phone you can provide this link to anyone they would be able to access your static website so you can host your you know blog website here your own blog website where you don't need connection with the database simply okay so now uh, let's enough of theories let's get started with the project how we can do that let me switch here click on services check for s3 so first step is create a s3 bucket so right now i do not have any s3 bucket listed here i will just click on create s3 what will be the bucket name this is the bucket name i will prefer this is the reason I will choose in order to uh, launch the bucket either this is a going to be a global services but still it is it is going to come into a reason right now you have to choose what here ACLS object ownership is disabled you have to make it enable okay now once this is done you can unblock all the public access just say yes and you can enable or disable the versioning right versioning is something someday you have uploaded a file you have written hello world to it and next day when you will upload hello world 2 and upload the same file there you will see two version of the file one will contain version 1 will contain hello world version 2 will contain hello world 2 a written file when you will go down go down let's click on create bucket okay once we are having our bucket we have changed the ownership we have enabled the ACL we have unblocked the public access now what we will do we will get into the bucket and let's download the static file guys okay so it seems like it's downloaded let me unzip it once we have unzipped it we are going to upload the complete files here how we can upload it go to bucket click on upload add files Uh, go to downloads and here let's choose everything and try to upload let's see if it works didn't work right again let's click on add files or what else you can do you know uh, let's open that particular thing 
drop here. I think something wrong with this. Let's do one thing. Let's cancel this and try to re-upload the file. So click on upload and here let's try to upload everything. This complete folder, uh, not this complete folder, the complete content of it. Once it is uploaded, click on upload. So based on your internet connection, it is going to upload the file. Alright, it is showing upload succeed. Now click on this and here you can see everything has been installed. These, these are your directory as it is and these are your uh, files. Correct. Now once you have uploaded your file, what is the first thing you have to do? You have to go to properties and if you will scroll down completely, you will see this static wave hosting. It is currently disabled. Let's edit this and enable it. Once you will click on enable, you will have certain option. So we are we want to host a static website. So this option is correct. So what is the entry point for your website? Okay. So for the ent what is the entry point for us? This is going to be the same. Always it is going to be index.html for most of the buckets. For most of the website, I mean here we have the index.html file this is the first file which will get open index.html now error document if you have any files you can put it here otherwise let's save it once you will click on that you will get something like this bucket website endpoint now you can share this with anyone they would be able to access your website okay so let's check if we can access or not so it is saying a 403 forbidden okay it means guys don't worry just try to read the error access denied for what code all right so something issue with the code right our website is publicly open also while we were we were creating we have enabled the public access we have enabled the acl as well now this s3 is unable to read our code that is why it is not publicly accessible let's go to objects to resolve that you have to select all the code go to action go down and click on this make public using acl click on this and just click on make public once you are here once you are here let's check the endpoint again go to properties and click on this so it's loading okay so here you go so in this way you can easily launch your static website on s3 so there are so many things still we would be able to know but this is just a beginning of the project guys so just try to learn step by step don't try to go uh, faster don't try to move faster learn slow and you will learn a lot okay so you can see this is the endpoint going forward we will see how we can bind this endpoint right like you have google.com something it is meaningful but this is something like uh, you know it is weird to share this correct but although you can share it with someone else but still we will see how we can purchase a domain and bind this through a website behind a website right 
and they then whenever they will hit the uh, devops mr devops.com they would be able to website so in the, so in the back end they are whenever they hit devops mr devops.com they are hitting here first then they are landing on this website so like this your we will see the route 53 services and all uh, 